welcome to the scholars learning classes we are studying uh, wastewater management right now in this video we will be studying about the better housekeeping uh, practices that we should undertake in our home so that we could uh, you know reduce the water waste we could reduce the contaminants in the water which are easy to treat right so the first practice that we can use is we should not throw cooking oil and fats in the sink <coughs> do you uh, the utensils washing a sink which we use uh, at our kitchens to wash the utensils we should not throw the cooking oil or some fatty you know substances into the drainage they can harden and block the pipes in an open drain the fats clog the soil pores reducing its effectiveness in filtering water those soil and fats uh, throw soil and fats in the dustbin we should throw soil and fats in the dustbin right second is chemicals like paints solvents insecticides motor oil medicines may kill microbes that help purify water so do not throw them down the drain chemical like paints solvents insecticides motor oil medicines should not be thrown down the drain we should not throw them in the drainage system or in the uh, water pipes just because they these are very harmful used tea leaf solid food remains soft toys cotton sanitary towels etc should uh, should also uh, be thrown in the dustbin we should not drain or uh, you know flush out the sanitary towels or cottons in the water use tea leaves solid food remains soft toys cotton sanitary towels should be thrown in dustbins we should throw these uh, all the things in the dustbin we should not drain them they do not allow free flow of oxygen this hampers the degradation of the process now these are the some housekeeping activities that we should practice at our home which we do not practice regularly you should tell your mother that do not throw the solid substances into the sink so that it does not gets flow down to the drainage system with the water now the alternate arrangement for sewage disposal uh, disposal see i am mean, like what are the alternate uh, things that we can follow in order to reduce the sewage uh, waste water is like we can use low cost on site sewage disposal system are encouraged right now uh, for example like septic tanks 
then chemical toilets in which uh, you know your excrete gets automatically you know treated then composting pits now septic tanks are suitable for places where there is no sewage system for example hospitals isolated buildings or a cluster of 4 to 5 houses then some organ uh, organization offer hygienic on site human waste disposal technologies these toilet do not require scavenging excreta from the toilet seats flow through uh, you know covered drains into a biogas plant the biogas produced is used as a source of energy so the excreta that you excrete uh, in the toilet goes through the tanks to the biogas plant in which energy is produced you do not flush them with water uh, there are the systems of the toilets these states that collects these excreta and they directly you know go to the biogas uh, plant and then energy is produced right now these are some alternative arrangements for your sewage disposal if you have any doubts any questions you can ask me i will be there to help you out and please download this college learning app